Next up, we have Itai Shakuri. Hi, my name is Itai Shakuri, and I work for Aqua Security on open source security tools. Specifically, I've been involved in a project called Tracy, which is a system and container tracer using eBPF. We've built Tracy as the engine for our dynamic container scanning offering, but Tracy itself is fully open source on GitHub with open contribution policy and the permissive license. In this talk, I wanted to show you how we can use Tracy to detect behavioral patterns of evasive malware. This is where malware will try to hide from being detected by simple scanners, but using eBPF and system tracing, we can still detect the behavioral signature of those evasion techniques. So the first example that I'm going to show is called fileless execution. This is where the malware will be executed, but it will never be persisted as a file on the disk. This technique is useful to avoid file system watchers or the traditional anti-malware scanners. And here I'm downloading the malware directly from the internet, but I'm not saving it to, into a file. I'm piping the binary data directly into another program, which will execute the streamed malware. This elfexec program does that by using the memfd create system call, which creates a file descriptor directly backed by a memory buffer without ever touching the disk. So to demonstrate, we first start Tracy, and then we will start the POC. So we can see that the, um, the flow of event, uh, and we can recognize the signature behavior as a typical fileless execution. We see the memfd create system call and connect to reach out to the internet. And we also see the final execve at, which actually executed the malware. This is how system tracing helps us detect the potential malware. But this could also have been achieved using other tools like S-Trace, for example, right? But because we are using eBPF, we can do more interesting things like tracing internal kernel functions and even capture the bytes of data as they are downloaded as forensic evidence for later investigation. If we take a look at the Tracy output directory, we can see the capture file that was downloaded from the internet. So if we look at um, temp Tracy, we see here this file, which is the binary data that was downloaded. This file is a reconstruction of the downloaded file by spying on the VFS write internal kernel function and copying each chunk of data as it is being written. <clears throat> the second example I'll show is a technique called memory packing. This is where a binary executable contains an embedded executable that is unpacked and executed at runtime. The beauty in this technique is that everything happens within the confines of the same process. So the bootstrapping process unpacks the embedded binary into its own virtual memory and yields execution. Therefore, there is no second execve syscall involved, like in the previous example. Skipping the execve call might trick simpler tracing tools, but if we learn the behavioral pattern, we can still detect memory packers. So again, we are going to start Tracy and the POC. <clears throat> And we can follow the chain of events and we can understand that the memory region is prepared to be used to run a program. This is indicated by the executable flag that is being uh, set. But again, Tracy can do even better. Because we are using eBPF and running our own code there, we can track the simple state machine in eBPF code and automatically alert when we detect this signature, as you can see in these memprot alert events that are generated by Tracy. If we check uh, the Tracy output directory again, we see that Tracy has also captured the forensic evidence. In this case, we take a look at the same directory. This bin file is the evidence. This is, um, this is the precise memory region that triggered the alert. And this is how uh, we were able to do that thanks to the power of eBPF. So that was my very quick share. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are looking forward for your involvement. So if you are interested, 
reach out via GitHub discussions or GitHub issues. We're under Aqua Security slash Tracy or find me directly on Twitter to discuss. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Itai. And awesome introduction into Tracy. Definitely check it out. It's open source. You can find it on GitHub. And I think there's also a pull request open to add it to the list of projects on the eBPF.io website.